We're here at the last day of Narnex conference in Anaheim, California. We have Jorge Garcia and Victor Gonzalez from Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. What are you guys doing here in California? Tell us what you're doing here. Well, uh, James, thank you for having us on your uh, show. Uh, we're very uh, happy to be in the NAR convention. Uh, we've been in a NAR before, but this is the first time I think that uh, we actually pay more attention to the things what's going on, a lot of techie stuff that we want to uh, incorporate into our business. Yeah. Like what's an example of that, uh, Victor? Well, uh, there's a few samples, a few boots here that sounds very interesting, like the uh, uh, the US-based phone, okay, that can be dialed on your phone, uh, ITX, uh, also a lot of uh, staging, like uh, not real furniture, but fake staging. So a lot of things that I think is gonna be very helpful to our pre-construction business. Okay, cool, cool. So, Jorge, tell us what you guys do. What is Ventura One all about? Well, we are a master broker company. It's a real estate company, but our main uh, goal is to promote properties on uh, pre-construction formats. So we represent uh, 10 developments in, in, in Cabo and one in Rosarito, Baja, uh -huh. Baja Norte. And uh, what we do is we promote, do the marketing, get the leads, uh, create uh, networking, commercial relationships, and try to get uh, leads to be able to buy in Cabo. And for us, it's very important to be here in Anaheim because our main market in Cabo always has been from the United States. Sure. So it's really important to create this networking and share the business with uh, brokers here in the United States. So that's for us, it's really important being here. Cool. Um, Victor, what do you guys see? We were, our podcast is about innovation and real estate, and we're really excited about working with folks down in in uh latin america that looks like that's there's a lot of you here folks from mexico and latin america in the conference today what are you seeing that are innovations that are impacting real estate agents in mexico or and or latin america yeah, that's a great question i think um one of the uh one of the things that are going to impact it's already impacting in the u.s and uh, throughout the world is ai uh, be incorporated into uh, your laptop and your phone at any time. So you can write decent emails, right? Sure. Because uh, sometimes you, we have agents that um, we can work with with those, you know, first emails. And I think AI is doing a great job and I use it a lot. And I even wow myself when I yeah. see that, you know, wow, I, I did great, you know? Well, so. especially, I mean, I don't know, when, when I write in Spanish, um, my Spanish is is pretty crummy. You're gonna find out here in a minute. But um, that AI can do some pretty crazy stuff with that translation too. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How about you, Jorge? What are you seeing over there? Well, what I see, it's uh, the most important thing always is the, the client. So I think these uh, technology tools, it's, it's it's getting better for for the client to uh, the, the AI. It's, it gives uh, more specific information for each client. Also can track any interest leads uh, or properties for the client and be able to have a specific information on their profile. So that's very interesting. So it's, it's like a try to not waste too much time and also efforts. And also for the agents, it's very important to be able to keep uh, them or help them to be productive, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, so I think the, like, like the AI, the IDX integration to the websites, it's something spectacular that we need to be uh, there for for the client and also for the agent too. Okay, well, it's interesting you mentioned the IDX integration because one of the things that kind of flagged you guys on my list of people I wanted to talk to when we came down here is I went and checked out your website before we came to to California, and I saw that you guys had iHome Finder already built on your site. How how are people using that on your site? Really, really cool because right now many of our of clients are using a web page to use it as a property research. Okay. So, uh, of course, we have... A, and are these people in Mexico or are these people in the United States and Canada or world. where are they? Yeah, any part of the okay. world. Yeah, yeah. Cabo is getting uh, buyers from Mexico, from the United States, from Canada. Europe is becoming. So, uh, once we get in touch with the client, we share our web pages and they start searching properties. Uh, and, and they use it as a tool of property searching. So that's that's amazing. And that gives us more traffic to our webpage. To be true, to get uh, to this webpage, we we work like a five web pages. Okay. It wasn't easy. It was like, a, you know, trying and <laughs> testing and everything. 
right now we are feel comfortable with this integration and it wasn't easy but uh yeah, and then you want to create another one better but uh victor what are you seeing um as far as how there i was talking to a lady from a bank and she was saying that these mls is getting more solidified down in mexico are helping people be able to get credit or um uh mortgages on these houses is that something that's impacting your business at all down there in uh in Kabul? um yeah you're talking about like how will it be impacted if somebody's trying to get a loan yeah. yes um yeah, obviously, what, what I like about our market uh, is that uh, it's, um, it's from three big countries, right? So we get, which is North America, Mexico, the United States, and Canada. So there's always a need when someone's down, you know, economically, your or their currency, there's another one that's up, you know? And so it's, uh, if the Canadian market's low, then we get the U.S. market, the Mexican market, and okay. so on, right? So we cater to different loans needs, you know, and we're in partnership with different uh, banks that were catered to Americans and Canadians. And uh, actually a couple of them approached to us in their booth and I think we're doing some kind of partnership that we can integrate that into our site as well so we can make it um, friendly to our buyers without being breathing behind their neck. So how does that impact? I, I think it's gonna uh, help us to get a bigger niche of people because if you don't have the rest of the cash, then we got somebody else that can lend you the money. Sure, okay. Um... What do you see coming up that that's you think is going to change some innovations or things that you think are changing the market going forward in Mexico? I'm going to ask both of you that before we wrap up. In the next maybe uh, five next years. year, next, next year. year or two. Is that a tricky question? Well, our main focus always is going to be on on tourism uh, areas, okay, like Cabo Rosarito, and we like to have that niche of markets so i think uh in the tourism um, mexico always is getting better and also our first client as a tourism uh, united states uh, people americans are the main uh, markets especially in the west coast where we are so i see more hotels resorts are, are building more direct flights for cities from the united states uh, to cabo are are going on the airport is growing too private jets you you have seen all the private jets that they went to cabo on the business tournament it was really crazy you know the business tournament is the biggest marlin tournament in the world wow they split about uh, i think 10 million dollars in prices uh, yes. yeah wow uh, so when, when i went to the, port, uh, the airport just to pick up a friend and i see the planes wow this is this is crazy so uh good wellness people it's is it's, it's, it's there so that's, that's good signs. Of course, the market is getting adjusted with all the market situation. Sure. But at the end, I think the, the market of, um, of, of vacational, recreational, tourism, tourism is getting growing, especially after the pandemics. Uh, we some, and, and that's going to keep growing. Maybe right now it's, it's going to adjust because what's crazy the last two years, everyone wants to vacation. Sure. And, but right now they want to still on the normal market. So that's, I, I'm very positive on, on what's happening right now. To that's fantastic. Yeah. That's fantastic. How about you, Victor? What do you see happening down there that, that, that you think is um, going to change the way real estate I, happens? I think and it's already happening in the United States. And I think what's going to happen down in, uh, in where we're from is um, clients are getting uh, savvier, you know, more intelligent. I mean, not they're not intelligent. They're getting more uh, they know what they're looking at, you sure. know, they're, they're already school before they even t I talk to them, you know. Okay. So what that means is that we need a more um, uh, better train agents. So what that's going to happen is that a lot of agents down there just want to become realtors. They don't make it because okay. they're not trained enough. So I, I'm going to see a reduction of agents. I think it's going to filter a lot of agents when I think the strongest is going to survive. Okay. And that's going to better uh, the market for the client, for sure. When this is, that's the bottom line. Yeah, I, I really like that. So you're saying maybe the quantity might go down, but you're going to have quality. a better quality yeah. going up. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I really appreciate you guys joining us for this today. And, and I was trying to chase you down the whole time. You guys are busy over there. A lot of people at your booth. Thank you so much. And we look forward to seeing you in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, James. My pleasure.